Okay, how do you do? I'm Graham Murphy, a category manager here at Tech Rentals. Today we're just going to have a quick look at the Druck DPI 611. Now the instrument we stock is the 20 bar instrument, so it's a 20 bar pressure calibrator. It will also do vacuum. Okay, I need to turn the instrument on. Here's the on off button. Now it takes about 30 seconds to boot, so we'll have to wait for that. Now we've got the cables for our 4 to 20 milliamp and this is uh, a pressure, tran pressure transducer that we're testing and there's the input for the pressure trans sorry the output for the pressure transducer now a couple of things about the interface there's this blue line across the top that indicates how much of the screen you're actually how much of the display you're able to see so if you only see half a blue line that indicates that there is more display on this side and you have to swipe to see it so it's still booting up this is the um, pressure relief valve, of course. We can, that's where we turn the pressure off. Pump and a precision. Um, that's the precision adjustment. So I need to go to the calibrator. So I'm going to hit this button here. Now when the calibrator comes up, here is this half blue line. Now I need to set up what the measurement we actually need to do. So I've got to swipe to the other side. Here we are. Now when I select the calibrator, it comes up now. In this instance, we want pressure out with 4 to 20 uh, milliamp in, 24 volt supply because we don't have a power supply here. So if I, uh, now that also indicates how we're going to do the um, 4 to 20 milliamp wiring there. So it tells, tells us we're going to be using this pressure point, which is correct. And this, now if we get this back to front, we'll get a negative number. This and this, which I'm now going to wire up. To these two, I'll put the wires out of the road in a second. So there we go. Those. Right. So now we've got our four to twenty milliamp wired up. So now I need to select this, and it throws up this little function setting button, and it sets itself up internally to do this measurement. Okay, initially it comes up with this. Now I'll need to zero the pressure. So if I push on here, um, go to settings. Now um, I can set the units if I need to. So I'm gonna, first thing I'll do, I'll, I'll actually set the units. So I'll set that to bar because this is a 10 bar pressure gauge. Now I need to set zero and um, zero the display. Are you sure you want to zero the readings? Yes. Success, okay. Now we come back and back again. Right, now we've got the display up here. Now what we'll do, when we hit that button now, we've got the, this is the uh, four to 20 milliamp value at the top and the pressure at the bottom. So, I need to now pump pressure up. So what it is, I'm going to close the gauge here and I will pump the pressure up. And here's the pressure coming up. So if I go to, for example, that's uh, two bar. Now, four to 20 milliamp, I haven't got right. So I probably got the wires back to front. So I'll just check that. And there we go. So if I bring this up now, when you pump this up, I'm going to go full scale. So I need uh, 10 bar down the bottom here. So I'll pump this up. Now, because I'm pumping it up, the uh, air is going to get hot. So you would normally leave this to stabilize for doing this sort of measurement uh, for around a minute or so. So I'll bring it up, pump it up. There we go, and it's on a little over 10, and I'll just bring it back a bit. So we back off the chamber with this fine adjustment here, and I'll leave it for a sec. And there's our top point there, so 10 milliamp, uh, uh, 10 bar, 20 milliamp, wonderful. So if we left this for a minute, we can get a, a better stabilized measurement if we needed to. 
Now there's a whole heap of other functions on this uh, meter which can be used, which might, can simplify your life when you're doing these type of me measurements, but this is just the basic operation of it. Very easy to use meter. Thank you very much.